welcome back to my channel. So I was actually recording some vlog material. It's been Eid today, haven't even had a chance to change, was just spending it with the family, was reflecting on how am I going to vote and I thought let's just quickly record some of this for this channel, especially considering I initiated quite a controversial conversation around the dinner table. Of course you should, that's the whole point of uh, uh, politics and, and improving our media literacy. We absolutely must have those tough conversations around the dinner table and encourage our kids to do the same so that we can improve our critical thinking as well. So as I have been reflecting on this and, uh, ah, man, how do I say this? Um, wh what you want, uh, and I'm speaking to everyone because mostly everyone is fed up, right, with the way things are, with the status quo. Um, what you want is not going to get achieved from this election um, because politicians are doing what they do, especially this election, we are seeing a lot of slogans, a lot of propaganda, it's all very footballish, um, and people's actual pain points, the experience that they're having that's not positive, it's being used, right, it's being used um, to uh, campaign and get votes, but unfortunately, I don't think that the changes that people want will come into effect because of the way things are set up um, and because of the way things have been going. It feels very sort of Brexit, right, where there was just so much fire and fury and noise around this one issue, which was almost an amalgamation of so many issues, but this one issue, and it got so many people almost quite divided and divisive and what happened in the end there's just so much discontent around the place and I feel as if now the discontent is just being used um, for us to just get convinced um, to do something to, to be influenced to have our consent manufactured and and that's what I talk about you know in in communications and PR um, you, you have to know your audience's pain points so the pain points have been noted down and now they're being used in election campaigning I have had really useful um, back and forth conversations in the comment sections with all kinds of uh political views um and you know lately with me streaming about immigration and streaming about sort of reacting to reactions on the sort of party political debates um I've had some interesting views come through comments I will entertain them because why wouldn't you and uh just learning about what matters to people and I think the things that matter to people, you know, for inequality to change, for there to be more employment, educational opportunities, um, you're going to have to take a long view. I think all of us are going to have to take a longer view and a long term view. I don't think the options that we have right now are up to par. And I think that perhaps we need to take a longer view to hopefully also get more eggs, eggs, ducks, <laughs> eggs too, ducks in a row, um, for us to get more of a change, the change that we want longer term. Because I think the options we have now aren't going to cut it. My cynical side, which is mostly the side that gets uh, the view here, is that a new government's going to get formed and nothing's going to change and people are still going to be complaining about the same stuff come Christmas. So I think rather than expecting that, you know, these political parties to fix things in the way that you want them to fix them, whoever you feel is going to get your vote, I think you've got to take a longer view and we've got to look at who and what are committed to real change and who has a bigger vision that doesn't seem to be just fully focused on a moment in time because we know elections can be won over single issues and it just feels like there's political parties who are talking about one issue and then there's slogans to do with 
um, the bigger picture, but the bigger picture is never fully broken down and we're never seeing what the steps will be and what the trajectory should be. So I think it's important that we get behind um, perhaps independent candidates, um, perhaps we get behind, um, I mean, if you don't have an independent candidate, then what do you do? Uh, tactical voting, um, or just see it as, okay, I'm going to waste my vote this time, or I'm going to vote for them, although I don't want you know them in there either, but the lesser evil. Just do what you have to do this time round, but start to take a longer view. And the longer view absolutely must also include how are you going to get more involved? Because our involvement is so key. It is so necessary, uh, whether it's actually in politics or um, for us to get much better um, at um, being informed on what's going on so that we can have those very productive and useful um, conversations around the dinner table um, and so that we can encourage others around the dinner table to have more critical thinking. I think also, and this is a really big one, is we need to get our younger voters who are so involved right now not to get completely dis sort of discontent and disengaged from the whole thing. I think we need to sort of manage their expectations and also encourage them to take a longer view. Maybe they're better at it than we are. Maybe they are. I am just thinking about, you know, the next four plus years of perhaps my teenagers, um, last years in secondary school, and then what will A-levels and university look like? What is AI and technology going to do to the employment and educational landscape? These are considerations we must all absolutely have when we are thinking about our careers and the careers of our younger ones in our families and our, and our sort of networks. We cannot just take our eye off the ball. We've got to look at things not just now nationally but internationally and uh, just not allow anyone to just sweep us up into a narrative that just seems to make sense for a moment in time or make sense for one pain point because there are many pain points but there's also many perspectives so we've got to take it all in zoom out and you know that's what I do as a systems thinker as somebody who has worked in PR and comms in the media for quite a long time 20 years I do like to take that step back and um, it's necessary I mean if we don't take that step back then what's going to happen we'll just end up getting more and more Whew, what's the word I can't, I've got to think of a polite word in case there's young people watching um, but yeah we just don't want to get uh, conned <laughs> Um, but if you could think of a better word that wasn't so sort of like polite, then yeah, put it in the comments. Um, I think this is just going to be enough um, because, as I said, I was just getting back to business almost. It's Sunday night, either with the families pretty much. Uh, yeah, let's just do what we can within this much time and then it's a school night, so we've got to get the kids ready and us ready for work. And if it was a weekday, it's likely that we wouldn't have taken a day day off um, because I don't know, just didn't, just di didn't grow up that way. Just didn't take a day off. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, that's just, I don't know why I started talking about that, but all, all, all I meant to say is this, is that, you know, before we start the week um, and <laughs> um, get caught up with all the headlines and all the, um, punditry and commentary and everything, I think it's going to be quite useful for us to just take a step back and tune out. I, I had to for two or three days. Um, I was sort of doing a lot of DIY and painting and uh, then I knew it was Eid. So, okay, that's going to be a little bit of a step back that I can have uh, from everything and it helped just being around family and the kids. And I'm thinking, okay, 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 okay. Politics is really exhausting. People are exhausting or exhausted. And uh, people are just sort of getting, like everything is getting so like kind of built up. And um, is it gonna be a crash down? Like, are people just gonna get so disappointed? So it's really important to sort of like manage expectations and check 
ourselves and think about the longer term view. Most of you who tune into my um, content on my channel, whether it's the streams or any of the videos, the themes, the playlists, um, you all do that anyway. So I welcome any uh, new people to my channel to please subscribe, think about coming back to any new videos and uh, you know I, I upload weekly and sometimes daily so it would be fantastic to meet you in the comments. For now let me know what your perspective is on voting and what you're looking to, um, <laughs> what you're wanting the most from this election. Everyone seems to want something quite sort of there's one thing that's almost quite profound for them and so I'm quite curious to know what yours is um, but thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video